Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. Today we are going to talk about this pattern, how to arrange them uh, symmetrical and also this leaf looking pattern over here. Hof uh, hopefully you will find it inspirational and apply to your jewelry design. Are you ready? Let's get started. So we're gonna start it at the front view to draw our design. This is not going to be print, so the size wise it actually doesn't matter. I just wanna show you what we can do um, to arrange this pattern. So I'm going to draw a straight line from here to the quadrant. And I'd like to separate them into the six sections so I know what um, what area I'm working for. Um, for 360 degree divided by 6 is 60 degree. I'm actually going to have this one moving to the right for th uh, 30 degree and also um, move copy and uh, with the rotation and this time I want to move um, 60 degree. So we get a cut on the pie uh, to know what is the area we're going to design for. So I'm also going to draw a straight line roughly from here holding my shift and that will click it right there. So that will be the area I'm going to do the design. So let me go ahead to put another line here and another line right there. So I'm going to get this one to be uh, split by this curve there. So then this curve is uh, for this section. I can make it a little bit bumpier if I want to. So something like this. Okay, then I can delete this line. Now the second line is using the arc and I'm gonna snapping into this point to this point and going up for whatever how high I want it. Okay, so I can delete those line and this the other one I can just mirror over there. Okay, to make this nice and rounded, I will look nicer. I don't want to have that sharp point. So I'm going to give it a fillet edges for something pretty big for in this case is for one. So I got one over there. Okay, and the other one I simply just going to giving the radius. Let's try one as well. And let's see the angle that we have here. We are going to use the dimension tool and we measure in between this line and this line. And that's showing this is um, 8.49. So I'm going to draw a line right here and then having this line or curve and rotate it from the center point. This is the end point and I want to rotate it 8.49 divided by 2. So we're going to draw a straight line by moving my mouse uh, to the near and uh, hit on the tab key and going out like this. So this will be and this that's joined together. So this will be the line for our, uh, for us to do the mirror. We can also delete the others, uh, trim on the other side. Okay, so now we have this curve. We simply just want to mirror to the other side like this. So that will be our rail. This one too, we are going to uh, split right in with the point right in the middle right there. So we can now join those together and join this together. Okay, so all we need to do now is the cross section. I'm going to have something right in the middle. So let me put a cylinder here first. For whatever how tall this is going to be. And I'm going to give a further edges. And let's go ahead to creating the cross section. Um, I would like to have my cross section look like this. Uh, having it as a conny corner and something like this, a little bit rounded there. And this one I'm just going to split with the point right at the middle here and middle here. So this is the one that's going to be the cross section. Now we are going to using the command from orient to point and that's snapping into this point to this point. Now be careful, we do want to have a copy and we do want a 3D scale there. So let's go ahead to come into the top view and I want to snapping somewhere in the middle. Holding my shift 
then you will get one there and this one here and for near make sure the near is on and then you will get another one there okay so you see two curve over there now if this one you feel like this is way too short you might want to bump it up by pulling up the control point all right so let's give it a try we want to use the sweep two surface sweep to rail you got rail one you got rail two and you got the cross section there so that's how you get that first one and you can keep tweaking until you find a size that you like maybe have this is a little bit too tall so I'm going to have this coming back a little bit all right, the other one, we do the same thing. We want to do the sweep to rail. You got rail one and rail two, and this is the cross section. And you'll get something like this. All right, this one, because this is the same and symmetrical, we just need to mirror to the other side like that. Okay. All right, to make them into solid, you can draw a straight line right here, right here, and from this point to this point, and also from this point to this point. Surface from two, three, four edges curve, and we pick up this one and this one, hit enter. We pick up this one and this one, hit enter. We also pick up this one, this one, and this one, hit enter. So now we have this surface, we just need to join them together. And all we need to have to make it solid is using the command cap. So they are capping from the bottom, now it is solid. Let's go back to turn on the center one. As earlier in our calculation, this is in a uh, 60, uh, 60 degree area so all we need to do is polar array and we want to snap it into the center for six of them 360 degree and that's how we get this one all right i'm going to make another cylinder just a little bit bigger than what we have there and bring it down for whatever thickness that you like next things i wanted to do is draw this uh s shape there and then you can draw something like this i like this one blended well a little bit instead of try to stick it in so i try to make them kind of like coming into the body nicer something like this so you won't get you know a very obviously blend over there and then you do have a nice head over there maybe those points overall need to be go more of this way all right so if you feel like it is not smooth enough we can use the command for smooth and you can adjust how smooth you want it on those uh curve and then that's how you get this one and again if you feel like it need to be adjusted you, you're welcome to tweak it from here so next things i wanted to do is kind of draw a circle right in the middle because i do like this one to blend it in there so i'm going to move this one here I'm going to split uh, this one somewhere about here and here we are just gonna using this one as a reference and I do like to have this curve blend into here much better instead of kind of hanging out there. So when when I have on the top it coming in, it will hug in that circle better. So let me move something out a little bit like this. And we want to blend it from this point to this point. Okay, and join everybody together. And again, I'm going to draw a circle. This time I want to use a center that I get from here. So that will be the center and snapping to here. And that's showing how well this one will blend into it. All right, so now we have this one here. We need to kind of uh, work on the cross section. So I would like to have um, more of the square-ish uh, cross section there so that's snipping that's creating a cross section on the side 
maybe roughly about this size and it's more like a corny corner there all right so that will be our first one i'm going to moving this one from the midpoint over there and snapping into the end point that we have here and kind of rotated this guy more like a 90 degree toward to the direction we are going to sweep and double make sure if that is the size you want i may want it them to start it from the bottom a little bit thicker so I'm gonna want these scale it up a little bit like this all right so the other one it will be on the top I'm just gonna making a copy of this one and going to my perspective view and kind of uh, moving from the end point to the end point of this curve right there okay and I also want to scale it down like 1d scale from this point to this point make it a little bit thinner all right and let's go back to the top view we want to make sure that the direction is right uh, it's it's okay but I would like to have more like 90 degree toward to the angle that's coming in like this okay so we can do a test right here let's do the sweep one rail we're gonna go sweep one this is your rail this is your cross section there and then we'll get something like this now remember to record a history because you can always keep changing if you don't like the history uh, if you don't like the shape and you can keep changing like that but at least that will blend well in there now <clears throat> if you feel like you actually need them to be wider there I will suggest you use a uh, extract ISO curve and you want to extract it uh, toggle into this direction and somewhere over here somewhere over here and we can we can delete this one and so what I like to do here is actually I wanted to uh, make some adjustments or so maybe on this one I want to 1d scale I want to have a bed is a little bit bigger something like that and this one too I actually wanted to go on the top view and because that is a big space over there so I want to move it down like this and then uh, make sure it's touching over there so I want to 1d scale this one a little bit longer so it's cutting inside like that uh, and I and I forgot to rebuild this one so we actually wanted to rebuild it into some uh, last point to be smoother or something like that okay so um let's give it a try we are going to using the sweep one rail and then we are going to go from here to here here to here okay and make sure they all line up the same place so let's go ahead to moving them all face up and in the right alignment and we also want to record a history and see if that's the curve that we like all right if the curve is somehow too big uh, we can actually pick up all this curve and um, all those points and kind of scale it down in or or moving those point so that will fit it into the circle better all right, and then you can keep tweaking until you find a satisfied answer. So for the demonstration, I'm going to stop it right here. Um, but moving this one a little bit lower. All right, so um, then it will break the history, but that's okay. We are done with the history. All I need on the top is a cylinder. So I'm just going to use this one and to extrude it straight down something like this. Right, so I have a cylinder there all right so the very last part um, it's for the leaf that we have and let's go ahead to draw the leaf you can design or uh, trace your leaf I have the one that I worked earlier and I'm, I'm just going to use this one here so for this one because we need to fold in the leaf and so we kind of need to make sure the surface it's follow the direction that we want so I'm going to get something like this and I'm gonna draw another curve right in the middle 
and another curve right here okay so as long as those three curves can creating the surface that cover this leaf should work so let's go ahead to um, loft from this point to this point to this point okay and then you will get something like that uh, some of you might say wh why don't you just creating let me do a comparison here why don't you just creating a surface for example like something like this right um, and then we are going to use the same things using this curve and we're gonna trim the surface here and trim the surface there all right the reason I'm not doing this way is even though you rebuild this surface and you get a lot more point for example you are not going to uh, pull out something really smoothly for example if you turn on the control point this is the control point that you have you can see you got this one, this one. Even you, though you try to um, follow the uh, stem right in the middle, when you pull it out, it will look like this, right? So it's not as pretty. The direction doesn't follow what we want. So what I like to do is I'm going to go back before I trim it. You want to do everything like pulling the line before you trim it, right? So if we turn on the control, uh, if we rebuild this guy, and then we can get Lamo point. And as you can see, when you rebuild, it still follow the structure of this leaf over here. Okay, and let's click OK. Now, we need somewhere just right in the middle of this line. So I might need to increasing um, my rebuild, or we can just add, we can just insert, you know, the point here. So let's go ahead to use the insert control point and we want to pick up the surface and you can toggle it into the direction you want so I want one 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 here and one right in the middle and that one will work and maybe one right here maybe maybe another one right there Okay, so if we turn on the control point now, you can see all this point that follow exactly where the steam that we want, right? Okay, so let's go ahead to using the selection tool. Then you have this uh, lasso selection point. And we wanted to do is I'm going to pick up this one and hit on the select V. And when we look at the top view, we might not need to select those points that is past the boulder. So let's go ahead to deselect those points, right? And I want to simply just pull it out. So you can see there's a bump there. All right. Next one, let's go ahead to use um, this curve right here. Select V. And then we are going to deselect all of this here and deselect the button there. And also I want to pull it up as well, something like this. And you can detail tweaking like specific on certain point. You want it to be even more higher if you would like to do that. Um, on this one too, I'm going to pick up this point, select V, deselect all the things on the top all the things on the bottom, like three point on the bottom and kind of pull it up, right? So if you take a look on the render view, you're going to see this like line coming out there. And what we wanted to do next is having this one to trim off the extra there. All right, so now we have those, we need to turn them into solid. Oh, by the way, this might be too high, but for this demonstration, I'm going to stop tweaking here. Uh, I'm going to pick up the original curve that we have. We want to extrude the curve straight and by using this border right here, let's extrude it on both sides about this high. All right, and then we can use this one to trim off the top part. And basically just join those. All right, so this will be our leaf and then we can cap it so it will become solid. When we move this close to this area, you can size to whatever size that work for you. And you can also use a cage edit if it is still need to edit. 
there. And very and once you're done, very last things you need to do is actually copy uh, mirror to the one in the center and do whatever arrangement that works for you. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I have a Rhino course online. If you feel Rhino is interesting, going to help your industry. It is a beginner course. A lot of uh, uh, tip and trick that you can use for any industry. Let me know how you like it. Leave a comment at the description below. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next.